global warming. You've taken it on. You've gotten some criticism for uh, your approach. Can, can you well, talk about yours? I, th I think, first of all, we need to, l l let me tell you a little bit technically about how I view global warming. I think the first thing that is not obvious to people is global warming is a less than 1% effect. In the following sense. Sun shines down the Earth roughly 300 watts per square meter, average over the Earth and average over the year. Uh, it, before we had the extra CO2, um, that would heat up, uh, it would heat the Earth up, infrared rays would come off the Earth and would go off into space. Now some of those infrared rays are trapped by the CO2. And that creates something called radiative forcing. And the radiative forcing is also measured in watts per square meter. And in fact, it's, most people would estimate today it's about two watts per square meter. So it's less than 1% of the incident solar radiation. Suppose we double CO2, which we're certainly on a path to go do. Then it'll be about 3 to 3.7 watts per square meter, just over 1%. So all of global warming here is that what used to be in, per, in balance is now off by 1%. And we make that round trip every day, so it kind of adds up over a period of time. It's like being shortchanged at the bank by a penny every dollar. And over a long period of time with lots of transactions, that, that piles up. So that's our global warming problem.